Hi, now it's time to download and use Mixamo models. When you arrive to Mixamo website, you will find many characters. You have on the top two links, you have to click on the first one, which is characters. And you can look for your favorite model. In my case, is bot because they are really light. So you can choose the male or the female. I will choose the female. And I'm going to try to download the female, the model. As you can see, there are many of FVX file extensions. And we are going to download the first one, which is the binary one. And we are going to choose the tipos uh, because I don't know why. But when we download straight to our project, as you can see here, uh, yeah, we have already our model into our project because I configured that download. So when you're looking for information in the official documentation about FBX files or model you will find nothing but if you go to the examples and if you go to the example and try to looking for information about fbx you will find this guy dancing so that is a huge huge good news because now we can see the source here in this link if you click on it you will see the source code so if you're looking for fbx you will see that this project is using fbx loader and this is using the fbx loader which belongs to the jsm folder so you copy fbx loader fbx loader and you will see and you see how it is implemented you can just find this piece of code that we are going to copy and create in our own module lo name it loader lo loader.js and we will paste dot that code too many space i will delete them and we are not using animation at the moment so i will delete those lines and now as you can see fbx loader is not accessible from the ide there is no suggestions so we have a problem uh, the technique i can teach you in order to get that folder into the library is the following you have to open the console you have to go to the subfolder named node modules and then you have to open that folder in the ide just in your project then you just press ctrl p and try to look in for the fbx loader you will find two of them one in the js folder and one in the jsm folder if you open the js folder you will find and if I -F -E, I -F -E, e function which is an, an immediate function execution let me check this out because i we need to know what is this i if -E, e okay let me in media the function execute yeah in media what is the name uh, what is the name in English? Immediately invoke function expression. Well, wow. something like that. Immediate, immediate. Well, what is it? Invoke. Immediate invoke function execution. So you can see that is immediately invoked. That because you can see this appearance here at the end. So this is the f the file we don't need it we need the other one so check the check the other one uh, which is a module as you can see it has import and it has export check this out we need to use this one the fbx loader so 
My suggestion is reveal this in the sidebar and then copy the relative path and then close the IDE and try to import this uh, module using uh, the relative path that we have already copied and we need to change the slashes because of windows and now we need to load our module that we just has already download to and we need to do the same step is which is replace the slashes because of windows and now you will see that the scene is adding the object in order to handle this way better we are going to wrap this into a promise so we are going to create a const name it model which is it which will be a new promise with two callbacks the reject the response and the reject uh yeah we need to close the function in this way and now we can wrap all that code in the promise and we can replace the scene with the res callback the callback name res the response so now we can export this uh, model we can access it from our entry file so now let me take take off the console and now we can write model load it and then use the keyword then because it's the promise promise and then we have the object no that one the the the, the parameter that we are going to handle with the function and now we are going to use the scene which is this one and we are going to add the object into the scene so if everything is okay i'm going to if everything is okay and now we run we run <clears throat> let me go back one step up and if we run npm run build hopefully we will see the module on the screen and there is it but the size of the module is huge really really big so we need to scale it down we are going to do it using a constant or a variable name it s from scale and we are going to set it as 0 0.01 and we are going to use the object scale and if you don't remember the scale in the official documentation we are going to look in for object 3d uh, the scale is a vector 3 so we can modify it using the method set uh, as you can see here so we can use s s s in order to scale it down and you will see here the model now is 100 percent of the original size that's all by now hopefully you enjoy it or learn something and see you in the next lesson to where we are going to add in animation to that guide so see you and enjoy it